Steve, first day in camp, uh, any news on, on the injuries from the weekend? Uh, touch wood at this moment in time, we seem fine. Um, obviously, there's a game to come tonight, the Huddersfield and OKR, so we'll see what happens with the Huddersfield players. But so far, every other player from all the other clubs has pulled through, so it's been a great start uh, to our camp. What about the Knights? Any, any, any issues there? We've just got a couple. Um, for family reasons, Danny Alton has had to withdraw, uh, which is really understandable. You know, I won't go into too much detail, but he, he uh, you know, he needs to withdraw just at this moment in time from the squad. Uh, John Lomax is carrying a little bit of a shoulder injury. Uh, he's really keen to be part of the group. Uh, we'll assess him over the next two or three days and, and see whether he's uh, fit enough to play or not. And what's the objective? Obviously, you want to mm. aim for the aim for victory this week, uh, this weekend coming up. But what else do you want to achieve this week? Some continuity uh, from the four nations. Without doubt, our programme's up and running. There's a lot of excitement from the players about being, being part of this group. So we want some continuity, some, some consistency from the Four Nations. Uh, we really want the players to enjoy the week. You know, Whenever you do anything, if you enjoy doing it, you get better performances. Um, what we've got set up here for the group of players uh, is of an elite standard yet again. Uh, the players, I think, will appreciate that and hopefully they'll enjoy that. And that will, in turn, uh, put out a very good performance for us on Saturday night. Just finally, uh, there's a lot of speculation out there from a lot of pundits in the sport saying that there's too many Leeds players in the squad. Leeds currently in, in ninth spot in the league. You know what? What do you say to that? You know, there's quite a, a healthy contingent from Headingley in mm. the 21-man squad. What I will say is, I think that their success over over a number of years, uh, both indi individually and collectively, uh, gives me absolute confidence in every single one of those Leeds players. Like without doubt, you know, as human beings, as players, as leaders, and I think it's absolutely. Um, you know, when you see those players within this group, you see what qualities those people that those people bring to our organisation, and that's not not often seen from the outside, and understandably so. But I tell you, you know, this group would be a lot worse uh, without those leads contingent in. The rest of the players understand that. The rest of the staff understand that, and uh, like I said, we've got every single confidence in those players. And just finally, another England team are in action tonight. England uh, are mm. playing France in the Euros. You know Roy Hodgson fairly well. Mm. What, what do you want to say about that game this evening? Well, I think, you know, PR-wise and media-wise, he's certainly got some good publicity so far. I think people are, are really supportive of what he's trying to do. The players seem fully behind his programme and it's encouraging to see and hopefully get off to a flying start against France tonight and certainly we'll be back watching that game and cheering them on.